still slight stutter. The next thing is try a window capture instead of a game capture. I should have tried that a long time ago. Well, that is not working. That is not capturing at all. That stutter is incredible. Incredibly light now. I feel like that's lighter than it was before. But it's still just barely there, yeah? Uh, I've never had dropping my stream from 60 FPS to 30 FPS work to fix this issue. I've had it before, like once. I think it's the same. Okay, this one is again not capturing at all. So only this Windows graphics capture works. Maybe cap the FPS. What does that mean? What does it mean, cap the FPS in game and OBS? We're playing the menus, hey friends. That is what we are playing, unfortunately. noticeable. I wonder if um not having my OBS preview on actually might help. Maybe it's something to do with it rendering the preview. Is it the same now? Still stuttering, okay. That is not it. Is she nothing for two months? I'm just gonna play. Uh, maybe I won't finish it, but we'll play a bit. Like, it's completely fine for me, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> Just you having to deal with a stutter. Hello. Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off in your ship today. I'm really excited to see the launch. Aren't you going to go into space? Aren't you? You better not have changed your mind. I want to... Pr uh, I hear you and Slate beefed up the model ship. Can I see it? Yeah, we recolored the controls and installed better thrusters. Want to give it a test drive? Slate says it's just like the real thing, only less likely to start a fire. Try to land on one of the geyser poles. Show me what you got. Horizontal thrust. Whoa. Reset. Down, up, thrust. 
Okay, this is not... It's not clear to me how this is working. <laughs> so I can go up. That's easy. Oh god. I'm dead again. Yeah, I did it. Seems impossible to recover if I ever start to tip over, though. Can't believe this is the entire game. Yeah. I was expecting something different, but here we are. Who that? Murphy, you hatching. I hear you're leaving us to seek adventure among the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gossen open up a bottle of the good stuff. Good stuff is less delicious scent wine and more daunting digestive challenge. An iron stomach is the mark of a true Arthian, my friend. Our hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error. By which I mean, our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. What is that noise? Wait, what was that? Thanks for that 500 bits, Mixie. Did I just start this game? I did. How upset are y'all gonna be if I don't finish it? You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? They really don't explode as often anymore. <laughs> All I know is between the space program and Micah's model rockets, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Postcards from orbit. The projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. Let's see if you can take a snapshot of our village. Is my right button not working? Hey, I think I did it. That was it, right? Whoa. This planet is weird. Uh, George, there's a bit of a stutter again. Pretty sure. That is our village. I guess this is the space program. So it's launch day, huh? Hal's gonna miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was think just thinking about it, and the platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be a perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. The launch pad is flammable? <laughs> you didn't realize that? Don't worry, it's held up for all the launches so far. It'll definitely be fine for yours, probably. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments. Won't you? I made all their instruments, you know? Let me see. There's shirts, drums, rybex, banjo, and grabos, fruit. And feldspires, harmonica, of course, though feldspires have been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday they were playing their harmonica around the campfire. Anyway, you hear music in space? That'll be one of the space program's other travelers. If you like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Hello. Hello, astronaut. What's with the radio? We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Sure, let's play. Okay, here are the rules. Glenn and me will hide with these radios, and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Close your eyes and start counting.
Oh, you found me, but my hiding spot was super good. Don't forget, you have to find both of us, okay? Change frequency. Hello. I won. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Why did you get so small? That was sort of weird. How do I go? Oh, the observatory's up here. Ah. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. This thing helps you pass the time. You're leaving the crater? I guess we'll all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water planet in Giant's Deep? That's where I'd go. Why is that? One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep and it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabro told me... Gabro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. They landed their ship easily enough in the waves but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down, but suddenly Gabro couldn't go any further. I underestimated how boring this would be. Goodbye. right button actually broken? This controller is brand new. Like I actually bought it like a week ago or something. But, uh, but that's, I'm using the right button to navigate the menu. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Bagoosh thinks of the prime. Shall we just go Wazda? Danger! Inside this fence is a pocket of ghost matter, a strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to naked eyes. The good news is you can detect ghost matter with your camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Oh yeah, oh, I see. Alright, Zero G Cave. Hey, come say hi to your old flight coach before your launch. I got zero G training set up if you want a refresher. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting the better of you? Uh, I'm a little nervous, yeah. Good, everyone should be a bit nervous going into space. I got cocky during my first flight and nearly put a new crater in the moon. Still, I was never as green as you. Hey, I've gotten better. Think so, do you? Feel like proving it to your old flight coach? There's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment, set up down in the zero-g cave and in need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute zero-g practice, head down the lift and into the cave. Or don't, so long as you're confident you can make ship repairs in space. One repaired satellite coming up. Oh. I can also switch between mouse and keyboard pretty easily, it seems like. I made myself dizzy. Oh, this is very spooky. Suit up. Control, shift, or up and down, thrust. So this keyboard, it's very weird, but this keyboard has um, control and shift rem um, reversed.
So we're going to want shift to be down thrust and control to be up thrust. Mm. And... What am I repairing? Zero G cane. Okay, crushing it, crushing it. I'm completely lost right now. I don't even know which way up is anymore. Um, <laughs> but other than that, doing great. Oh god. Pretty cool. Suddenly I'm facing upward. Okay, let's never do that again. Thank you very much. Would I turn the gamma up a bit? Is that allowed? Ah, too much. It's very spooky in the cave. Do you reckon that space programs have considered wood as a space going material? Huh. I don't know. Nicely done. Of course, it'll be a little more stressful when you're hurtling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I can see you're itching to get off this trunk, so let's go get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. And hey, try to avoid getting yourself killed now that I put so much time into training. You got it? Got it. I will see what I can do. What's this? I saw smoke coming from Youngbark Crater up north. I figured I should go check it out. You can use the scout launcher. Just please don't break it while I'm gone. Oh, is this the launch pad? Use scout launcher. Aim launcher. Launch scout. Big snapshot. Can I aim upwards? Retrieve scout. 
Oh, yeah, I don't know what that is. North is Young Bark Crater. There is smoke. It's true. There is smoke at Young Bark Crater. This is probably important. I have begun unraveling the mysteries of the game. I'm afraid of starting the bot up again, because uh, I'm a little bit worried that the bot was involved in the stutter somehow. But I'll start it again. Who dat? Outer Wild Ventures founding members. Clockwise from top left. Hornfells, Gossen, Slate, and Feldspire. Outer Wilds Ventures. Timber Hearth's first and only space program was founded to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspire was the first Hearthian to be internet intention <laughs> to be intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timber Hearth and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon, the Adelron. This remarkably intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look yet at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur, of the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although the artifacts and structures have been found on almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch date last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tools inaugural flight two. I'm so excited, it's making me nervous. Just think you'll be able to translate any know my text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh geez, do not break it. Uh, ignore me, okay? I'm just feeling nervous. I'm not even the one going into space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see all your training pull off. Pay off. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new know my statue? Of course. I knew you want to see it before you headed off. Hornfell's just finished prepping it for display today. Amazing, isn't it? Wishes makes me wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like, but I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. It's like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know, and for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah jeez, I got a little carried away there. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you here. I will. Radio tower was built to receive transmissions from our deep space satellite. These photos are made possible by the deep space satellite's unusual vertical orbit that carries it high above and below the plane of the solar system. Thanks to a recent upgrade, the deep space satellite is now responsible for generating the real-time solar system map used by our newest ax 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 external astronauts. Watch closely. These balls move on their own. The ground is perfectly level, so what do you think causes this spooky motion? The answer is the moon! As it orbits our planet, the outer rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. I feel like I would notice that. Good night, Crescent Method. Hey, Loki's Observatory. New exhibit is DLC. Ah, this piece of Nomai writing was essential to deciphering their unique language. Although this text is linear, Nomai text often branches off from a certain point, central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. Aside from the dwellings and the structures they built, the Nomai also made art. This decorated pottery was discovered on Brittle Hollow. Some ancient Nomai art depicts strange animals, foreign celestial objects, and other subjects that can't be found in our solar system, which makes us wonder whether the Nomai originated elsewhere in the universe or simply had vibrant imaginations. Were the Nomai born in our solar system, or were they born among other stars and planets? And if they were, how and why did they come here? These are just some of the questions we hope to answer through further Xenoarchaeological Expedition. Is this our, is the know my stuff DLC? Is this main game? Rhubarb, you're allowed to answer that. What you see here are parts of the know my skeleton. We can tell from their skulls that they possessed antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. 
Very unusually. Only three eyes. The Nomai body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. Differences in the Nomai's anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, show us that Harthians couldn't have descended from Nomian ancestors. It's not clear where the Nomai originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. The Nomai technology brought back from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wilds Ventures, allowing us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the Little Scout now boasts a warp retrieval capability that allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost to the depths of space. So we've learned that there are Nomai, they have fur, they make art, they write, their writing has different authors, and they have impressive space technologies. This crystal was taken from a Nomite ruin on Brittle Hollow. It seems to create a local gravity distortion. It was most likely used to traverse steep surfaces. Try it out. Can I jump on the roof? Nope. Oh, that's weird. Pictures. This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the dark to dark bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with a minimal atmosphere. If a star is massive enough, it will continue to fuse carbon into even heavier elements like iron. Ultimately, the star will collapse under its own gravity and then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Ah, we're learning about stars. What are the small ones? Stars like our sun generate light and heat by fusing hydrogen to helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. As the star's core contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer layers to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. And then it goes supernova. Sure. What is this? The strange rock moving around in this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level head among us realized there must be some sort of optical illusion at play. But Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed, whatever that means. Whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree that effect is extremely creepy. Ah! <laughs> ah! Ah! That's cool. Oh my god. There you are. I just finished pre-flight observations and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground and you'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Know My Translator tool. I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better, equip we're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you're in space? I am going to meet up with the other travelers. You're going to check in with them, are you? Not a bad plan. No one knows the solar system better than our astronauts. Let's see. Chert is on the Hourglass Twins. Rybeck is on Brittle Hollow. And Gabbro is on Giant's Deep. Last I checked. I'm not going to write that down unless it turns out that I needed to later. And well, there's Feldspar, obviously, but of course we don't know where they are, or even if they're alive. Feldspar, Feldspar has been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. On a more cheerful note, you'll find Esker stationed on the Adel Rock. They're not a traveler as much as a lunar local, but I'm sure they'd appreciate a visit nonetheless. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to die in space. I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of unlucky to say before launch? At any rate, here are the launch codes. Try not to worry too much. Our ships are every bit as safe as Slate could be persuaded to make them. <laughs> Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. All right, well, let's go.
Well, that's sort of fucked up. Hey, so did you get a good look at that Nomei statue? Ah, uh, yep. It was glowing. Why was it glowing? Uh, the statue was doing what? So its eyes open and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around. You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? You know what? Don't worry about it. Maybe you should sit down for a bit and take it easy. I'd hate for anything bad to happen if you tried to launch while you're not feeling great. But hey, when you are ready, then you can make the most of our translator tool. I can't believe I've... It's all grown up and ready to leave for space already. For real though, I'm glad you're the one carrying it and not like Ryback. They'd fall on it for sure. Say, if you want to do a short trip to just get your space legs under you, you could check out the ruins on Adel Rock. I'd love to learn what those are. Good luck and safe flying. Are you going to space today? Are you going to space and never coming back like Feldspar did? What? Uh, Hornfels says Feldspar went into space and didn't come back. Hornfels says Feldspar was the best pilot ever, but no one knows what happened to them. Hornfels probably shouldn't be telling you stuff like this. Hornfels says that too. But if Feldspar disappeared, you might disappear too, right? You're not as good as Feldspar, so you should be really careful not to get lost. I'll get lost if I want to, thank you very much. Hello! Oh! Kid is backseating me. Absolutely. Absolutely true. Woo! I'm a Talvani, apparently. Uh. Buckle up. Suit up. View ship log. Find in rumor mode. Uh, do we just like do we just go to space? Oh shit. We're just in the space now. Oh my god. <laughs> Apparently, I wasn't quite in orbit yet. <laughs> okay. We are in orbit. How's that? Dark Bramble. Brittle Hollow. Hollow's Lantern. Oh! Is that the sun, perhaps? What? Exit ship to repair landing gear and damaged. I thought I was, uh... <laughs> I thought I was in orbit. <laughs> I told it to be in orbit. Orbit. I did the up part of the orbit. And then I told it to match velocity.
Where's the fucking moon? Ah, so if I don't match velocity again, I start to fall toward it because of gravity, I see. Oh God. <laughs> This is awesome. Where's this person I have to meet on the moon? Nice, stuck the landing. Uh... Chat, I'm on the moon. Swap between channels on keyboard, I wonder. Oh my god. Controller just started. <laughs> Supposedly... Somewhere around here, there's someone who lives on the moon. Do they live here? What is this? Whoop. So I can locate the other astronauts and I can tell who they are based on their music. Are you here? Esker's signal scope log. Day 48, still not picking up Rybex banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51, listen to Chirp play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gossen their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Day 55, banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rybex doing okay. That oof, I was worried. Sounds like it is raining very hard outside. Today I thought I heard something. Strange. I don't know. It was probably nothing. No, it's back again today, too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. I wonder if they're on Timber Hearth. <laughs> it's still here. Creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken. I'd better talk to Nice. Are we playing this game on hardcore? What happens if I die? Oh, there's a map showing where I am on the planet. That's nice. Ah, uh, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I, I just like entered orbit. <laughs> Pirate anything's 18 months. Tree.
Trees detected oxygen tank refilled. Nice. That's how trees work. Okay, wow, wow. I'm seeing this rune in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself. It's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, uh, time for some official notes. So this is some kind of Nomi locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here, I think it was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure. I was also able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow. So I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe, mostly safe. Oh, stars above. Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. In Nana and those of us originally stranded on Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. I wouldn't recommend building on that planet. The southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. Yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Kanoi would enjoy this immensely. He's already he's always held a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. The crash. Now we'll begin construction of, on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately then. So the Nomi built a thing on Brittle Hollow's South Pole. I guess this is mine now? How do I like put it away? Oh, I like that. Okay. Photo mode. Oh! Oh, that's really nice for a investigation game to have. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator and I can hear and follow the signals from the sun at Giant's Deep and Brittle Hollow. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points in just one direction. I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. This is a curious result. It's possible the eye has stopped calling out its signal. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye's signal. We would need to build a more sensitive device if we want to locate the eye of the universe. And we will build it. Don't lose hope. Kasava, our search for the eye is what brought us our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. So that's all DLC stuff. I believe... Seems like it's all DLC stuff. That's not DLC stuff? Oh. I thought the DLC was like named the eye or something. Well, fair enough. The DLC is entirely in one scripted area. Gotcha. So... Oh shit. The fuck did I just do? <laughs> did that change things inside? Inside is looking the same. I definitely changed the orientation here. And when I stand in it, it changes more. Hmm. 
Which way is this actually pointing? It's following that planet, yeah? game is fucking spooky. <laughs> and very spook. We're pointing at something over there, I think. So we have these rings? What are they for? Is this this is it failing to find the center of the universe thing. The eye of the universe. It's not calibrated right for it. Or it is calibrated, but it's not powerful enough. Ah! I should just go directly into the sun. All right. Just notice that it says where my ship is on my screen for me. That's nice of it. Get out of here. You felt the ogre. The Hourglass Twins, Brittle Hollow. Let me go check out Brittle Hollow. Mm. Which I am pointing at basically already, I think. Not to be flying into the sun, please. A little bit flying into the sun, though. <laughs> Brittle hollow. He has freeze. To rethink how I'm going to navigate space, huh? I'm chasing that. Wait, where the fuck am I going? Um, okay. Let's try to get down to this. OK, 
casually drifting away from the solar system. Wait a second. There's something. Yeah, there's something here. Uh, okay, we're good. What is this? I bet that's some porn on. Giant's Deep is a... Uh... Wait, how can I be going away from it? You just bounce off it? Also, holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> Yes. Huh, I'm going to die. Is this the DLC place? It's not? Okay. Cool. So that's the way out. does. Oh! Ship log updated. That's broken. <laughs> we don't want to go that way. That's... Also broken? Oh! <laughs> Am I dead? <laughs> What? But... It did say it was a time loop, I think. Oh my 
my god, roasting marshmallow. No. <laughs> Put it out! It's just on fire! Ah. <sighs> It's very, very heavily raining outside my office right now. Clarity, thanks for the five gifted subs. Hey, honk. I found the DLC. Yep. Hold up, you're gonna want to get launch codes from the observatory first. I already got them from the observatory, remember? How did I get back here? Didn't I already lift off? Wait, did I just die or? Huh, must be inhaling more fumes than I realize. That stuff is potent. Well, if you've got the codes, I'm not gonna stop you. Good luck and take care of that ship. Interesting. All right, so time loop activated. Let's go to Brittle Hollow, since it's nearby. Somebody is doing some banjo playing. Oof. My grandfather used to tell me. Sometimes a solid landing is better than a smooth one. Space hold. Fire jetpack booster. Whoa! Did I just do that? Also, what was that? Did they just fucking explode? <laughs> um. No, not there. Leave. I need to get all the way around the planet. People aren't necessarily trying to spoil, they're just getting a little ahead. Well, I mean... Oh! Okay, there are things hitting this planet. <laughs> oh, right. Gravity is... basically normal? It has a moon that shoots lava at it, that's fucking metal. So metal. Are you in the fucking planet? <laughs> oh! Yeah, I'm in the fucking planet. Okay, okay, yep. All right. <laughs> oh, 
Well... Huffish, Huffish. This is some uh, pretty rad Skyrim DLC. I think I might be dead a little bit, but you know. Oh god, it's coming at me? Oh. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! <laughs> back. I'm gonna run to the bathroom. What are we doing? Maniatic, thanks for the gifted Salba. Well, space is sort of fucked. That's good to understand. And the arrows show what exactly? Not sure. I thought I didn't like space. <laughs> this space is cool so far, because things have happened in space. Like, navigation of and interaction with fucking weird space stuff seems to be the point of the game. I'm down with that. Is there just no way to, like, say, okay, I'm dead? <laughs> Do I have to <laughs> sit here and wait to suffocate? 
<laughs> you don't have to tell me what the arrows mean. I gotta can work that out. You can use your oxygen as fuel. Using oxygen as propellant. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> this game started off and it was like, oh yeah, a super nice cozy game, that's cool. And then, <laughs> and then I played for another 15 minutes. <laughs> Alright, very good. Oh shit. <laughs> The gasping for breath. <laughs> All right. Well, going there didn't work. I haven't yet successfully found another person in space. What's the map look like? Brittle Hollow. Fuck Brittle Hollow. Giant Steep. I don't like it. Where's the man? Am I gonna hit the moon? Not the moon. Nah, I don't wanna go there again. Ooh, the drums! I should go back to the man. See if I can work out where that person was. But the thing isn't happening. Hmm. Wait. I've accidentally found the man. Oh! Hello. I found you. I did it. Landing mode. Oh, there's a mode for landing. Look at that. Did I land successfully? Nope. I wonder what happens if I incinerate that person with my thrusters. Oof. What? What? Hello. Oh, hey, do you? You can just not wear a spacesuit on the moon, huh? Ground Control didn't tell me you were launching. No long time, no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travelers come by? The lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabbro is Gabbro, and you know how Rebeck feels about unnecessary space flight. Don't go! Uh, I mean... Anything else you wanted to ask? Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control, Hornfalls and Gossam mostly, and they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets I'm up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. <laughs> you spy on us? What? No, it's not spying. It's it's one-way communication that none of the villagers know about because I never told them. 
seems lonely up here. Uh, they forget about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in a solar system, let alone in our village. Was that you whistling? Probably, or actually definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. North Pole is marked in red on your mini-map, but the Adel Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north, you can't miss it. What is this place? Ha, <laughs> very funny. Oh, stars above. You're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started Outer Wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot, like more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down on the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays, though, it's mostly just me up here raising saplings from timber hearth and keeping an eye on things. Talk to you later! Do, 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 do. Beautiful. Pre-flight checklist. Jetpack auto boost. Jetpack boost can be triggered with a separate button press or at any time upward thrust is used. Ah. Separate. Translator auto equip, freeze time while translating text, freeze time while reading ship log, freeze time while talking to other. Is that cheating? I feel like all of these are cheating. Uh, I'll. I don't know. The thing is, I don't want to, like, have to rush through dialogue because I'm running out of oxygen, right? Oh my god. I have discovered many things. I know my device created to pinpoint the sources of distant signals. I know my were disappointed by their failure to detect the signal from something called the Eye of the Universe. I know my decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on Brittle Hollow's South Pole. Rebecca headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Nomai were doing at the South Pole. Well, there you go. A lookout platform with a spectacular view of the solar system. Masker uses their signal scope here to keep tabs on the other travelers. Asker is growing a crop of trees at their camp. They seemed to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for too long. Asker's signal scope log reports harmonica music coming from somewhere on Timber Heart. They claim it sounds just like Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. The broken remains of a Nova space station in orbit around Giants Deep. There are three access, access ways branching up from the central hub area. There's more to explore here. The launch module looks heavily damaged. There's a huge breach in the glass before. All right. Um... Let's go back there then.
I launch now-ish. I can catch Brittle Hollow as it goes past, I guess. Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that thing I said about like checking your rearview mirror as you <laughs> as you take off, maybe. Um, what is that other moon? Wait, what? What is that? This way, I think. I need to be going the wrong direction, even though I'm facing the right way and boosting. <laughs> I don't understand. Where is the sun? Where is the sun? Oh yeah, okay. I'm about as far as I possibly could be away from where I'm trying to go right now. Um. <laughs> Tell me shit that I am intended to like enjoy finding out on my own in the game, please. The people who worked on this wonderful game have already provided all sorts of fun ways for me to discover things that are much more interesting for me to discover things through than you telling me them. Giant's Deep. I'm looking there, so if I look this way... Stark Bramble. Well, I've accidentally gone to Dark Bramble, I guess. Fair enough. Certainly feels like this will be fine. and comfy. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Wait, this is like so much bigger than I thought it was. All right, let's try to get closer.
It's actually a huge. Did you turn into a fucking tree? It's a planet. Sort of weird, friend. Alright, I bet I bet going in here will be good. Uh did I just hear like a sub sound or something? I'm confused. Seems all very nice and safe. Uh, great. Now I'm 900 meters away from it again. All right, cool. Where's my ship? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where my ship is. Let's try going this way. Hey, I didn't die. That's sort of good. Could have been worse is all I'm saying.
What does it say about Dark Bramble? What? It doesn't say anything. <laughs> well, fuck that. Alright. It would be cool if I could work out how to get out of here. <laughs> um, equip scout launcher. Maybe that would be a good idea. Love the pictures of Jorbs's face. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I got it. Let me move where I am for you. Where do I go though? Come here, maybe. I'm perfect right there. Good stuff. Unable to pinpoint location. Wait, what was that? Oh my god! Bramble anymore. <sighs> Fun game. Fun game. Not sure how I feel about this universe. View map. Can I get to Brittle Hollow, maybe? Is that where I'm going? Brittle Hollow? No, I'm going to Giant's Deep. Honestly, I could probably go anywhere right now. See Maloc. Thanks for the sub. Appreciate it. All right, that wasn't so hard. is this planet? <laughs> A strange, strange world we live in.
Where did I just go? Okay. The first time that I was here, well, first I had to like open it like this. It was three of those. And then there was a thing. And I looked at... Oh, maybe this means one, two, three. Well, it sort of makes sense. But I, like, went down here and something exploded. <laughs> Trees. Where? Gravity? Oh, this is weird. I got a two now, or one giant's deep projection stone. Scout here. I just shot a scout at the floor. Okay. There's giant steep projections down. I haven't worked out what that does yet. Does that teleport me? Don't believe there's a different one of these. No, that's not a thing with stones. Pick this up. 
that there. Put this here. This game is fucking weird. <laughs> Untranslated Nomi writing. Intact, no structural damage. Viewport, window fractured, module exposed to vacuum of space. Severe structural stress detected. Probe tracking module missing. Y'all got any, uh. User manuals or <laughs> um, they make those here. This one doesn't say. So. Oh, it does. Orbital probe cannon launch request received. Probe launch successful. Probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Orbital probe cannon structure compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Have you tried calling tech support? I never call tech support anymore. Looking forum posts. 10 minutes 22 seconds ago, request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. What the fuck? <laughs> Cannon aligned with randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. 10 minutes. Okay, so that way was cool. This way, if I remember right, I like died. And this way was just space. Okay, check out what the ship says. Maybe I only have to do this once. Yeah. <laughs> Do not have to do that three times. Okay. At the orbital probe cannon. There's more to explore here. Control module recently received a request from the Ash Twin project to launch the probe. The cannon was aligned with a randomly selected probe trajectory. The probe was successfully launched, but the cannon's structural integrity was compromised in the process. Damage is detected in multiple modules. The launch module looks heavily damaged. There's a huge breach in the glass viewport. The launch module's viewport window is fractured, exposing it to the vacuum of space. The probe tracking module is receiving data from the launched probe. No, my computer reports the probe tracking module as missing. A 
that's not where I meant to go. Tacho. I do in this room. Uh... Ooh. Control room projection stone, probe tracking module projection stone. if they want me to use that. Ooh, I have reading to do. Yep, I was in that room. Imagine, Privet, the probe tracking module will be the first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not. My nervous friend, we only need to fire the probe once anyway, so who minds if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structural integrity slightly? I would mind, Mallow. I would mind, because we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe's tracking module is destroyed. Mallow, my better 50%. Cassava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. The thought of concluding our elders' curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Cassava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting we are not under any circumstances to go above. I see, and am I right to think that consequently we'll be ignoring that setting? I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Yes, and the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make some adjustments. Can't get through here, can we? Ah, where am I? My better 50%. Can I sit in my spacesuit? Maybe. Oh. All right, we count those. Exit ship to repair aft hull damage. I mean, it's just your opinion. <laughs> the aft hull. Oh, 
That looked like damage. Wait, I'm over here now. Did I fix that? I don't know. Um... Exit ship to repair and aft hull damaged. Bang. How do I reef? You all? Ah. You're an aft hull? Your face is an aft hull. Get in! Gosh, I made those doors very complicated for myself the first time I saw them. All right, anyway. Out. Where's the thing that says where my ship is? Oh god, it's the glass. It's not the broken one, though. No bounce. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Had to check. Skeleton Gang links to the 18 months. Am I liking how I move around in this game? Like a natural? I don't know. Does Tony Hawk like skateboarding? What 
the fuck is an aft hull? <laughs> Shouldn't it like have a hole in it if it's broken? There. Okay. Where the fuck's the behind of my 360 degree spaceship, Twitch chat? Checked out. Oh, I hear explosions. Wait. It fired the cannon while I was there the first time. That's why I died the first time. Whoa! Oh, it fired the cannon again. <laughs> oh my gosh. That seems to go off every 15 minutes. Or maybe 20 minutes, I don't know. I have one more thing to check here. Oh god, might want to slow down. It's okay, we missed it. Whoop! I forgot where my landing gear was. Okay. What did it say? Sad. There's more to explore here. And it says. We found out more about this. The launch module is badly damaged, but its projection pool is still intact. A nomite named Mallow argued that it wouldn't matter if the cannon's structural integrity was compromised since they only needed to fire the probe once. A nomite named Privet countered that they wouldn't be able to receive the probe's data if the probe tracking module was destroyed. The probe tracking module is receiving data from the launch probe. Any nomite aboard the probe tracking module will be the first to see the coordinates of the eye of the universe. A nomite computer reports the probe tracking module is missing. But it says that there's more to explore. Hmm. 
There's only one thing which I have obviously not done in my mind here. And that is... I don't think I went to three yet. Well, three is broken. There's nothing to do then. Ah, uh, okay. orbital probe cannon. We are in the orbital probe cannon. We got into there from outside. This way we've done. Hmm. I know there is a thing down on the planet. I love that if you crash into things in your ship, you get structural damage, but if you like land on a wall at 20 meters per second, it's just like sort of fine. <laughs> like in your spacesuit, I mean. All right. Let's see what happens if we fly at this. Oh. Hello. Oop. I was pressing the wrong button. Uh, okay. Well, we stuck the landing. <laughs> Nailed it. Anyway. It is raining. How? Peace, hold, fire, jetpack booster. I don't like this planet. Gravity is times 1.8. Which is apparently messed up. Alright. Let's try this again. Statue Workshop. Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, 
I'm in like a... Oh, we're doing this shit! Oh, that's awesome! I'm in space. For a bit. But not for that long, right? Do I die now? Cool. All right, anyway. So people seem to be dead. Game wants me to go through this door. We're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flock says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Flock specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test too, Lamy, but that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flox will let us see a later test. This planet is, uh, sort of messed up. Wants me to go through here. Oh, that's how I got in. Maybe there isn't anything else to do right here. Oh, there definitely is. What's up this way? Sir Comrade, thanks for the gifted sub. Appreciate it. What's all this then? Welcome to Giants Deep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below, inside the island. In side the island. Oh yeah, but we saw that. But it was like closed. I think. Oh, is this where I was meant to land? Maybe this is where the game was expecting me to land. So I would have come through here and then I would have gone this way and I would have read the thing about the new statue. And then I would have gone down there. I would have gone to the statue workshop and I would have seen that the door was shut. I'm pretty sure. I'm enjoying it so far, Sir Comrade. Oh! Wait, is that the workshop? Also, I think this used to be over there, but, um, seems to have moved <laughs> during the thing. Oh, dear. Okay, okay, I got it under control-ish. Um, yeah, I landed here, right? Sorry, how's my like facial expressions as I try to do this? Probably fairly hilarious. Okay.
You get motion sickness from other people flying. I'm sorry. <laughs> it might be um, something to do with my flying. Possibly. I have not played this game before. Hold on. Oh no 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 my Duh. So I think I'm probably meant to land my ship there. And I think the idea, perhaps, is that that way it doesn't fly off into space all the time. That makes sense. Anyway. Vital's low. <laughs> In fairness, there was no way to see that coming. <laughs> oh my god, look at all those whirlwinds. Someone messed up. Okay. There we go. Are they whirlwinds or typhoons or hurricanes? Probably all of these things. Let's get away from this planet. Ideally do so without crashing into that. Didn't crash into that. What is that, that thing? Ember Twin. Let me go to Ember Twin. Engage autopilot. No. That's cheating. I'm sure you will all agree that engaging autopilot is just straight up cheating. That is in an interesting orbit with the sun, which I have failed to match. All right, let's try this again. Can you just blatantly abuse matching velocity? That's super fair. Hypocrite Jorbs. I have to get closer to the sun, huh? That's scary. I suppose the problem is I have too much forward momentum, actually. Okay. G-Dug. Thanks for the 22 months. I'm not looking for backseating or spoilers. If you would like to watch somebody who already knows how to play the game play the game, you can go do that somewhere else. If you would like to watch me learn the game the way I would like to, that's what I'm doing here. Fitzy, thanks for the prime! Where 
are these things? They should be coming around again soon. Maybe I'm orbiting it at the same speed that they are. Wait, that's Brittle Hollow. Ah, there they are. How close to the fucking sun are you? Holy shit. <laughs> um, where's my map? The spaceship only has one seed. Yep, if you would like to navigate this spaceship with me, you all have to do it from outside, and there's only one spacesuit. Sorry. Getting so close to them. They seem to be burning up in the sun. <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good. Sun. Gosh. It's gonna be really fun when I um fly directly at the sun to try land at this. <laughs> that be three kilometers away still? Look at how close it looks. Is that an asteroid? Oh shit, that's the Adel Rock. Uh, Hmm. 
like a glove. Interesting. Imagine walking into a time loop game stream with someone who's playing the game for the first time and seeing the time loop happen and typing, was that his first loop? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> this island must be where? The Nomai created statues like the one in our observatory. I found a Nomai statue lying on the beach. It looks just like the one in our observatory. I found a sign for a statue workshop next to a broken door that used to lead inside the island. Some Nomai children debated bypassing the statue's workshop's door and sneaking inside via an alternate, more dangerous route. Oh shit, let's go back there again. Wait, this is the DLC, right? Orange is DLC? Never mind, let's not do that. Is that DLC? No? Okay, never mind. Let's do that. View map. Back to here again. I'm gonna get so fucking good at going here over and over again. Holy shit. not accidentally discover the DLC. Okay. Um. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> Sometimes I get confused about the orientation of my controls a little bit. A second more dangerous. Oop, I'm up here. Oh my god, am I going to have to do it while we're in space? Oh, I bet I'm gonna have to do it while we're in space. Oh, that's so cool. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we're learning. <laughs> we're learning things. Jumping before the elevator landed. <laughs> yeah, every time I wake up and that is firing. The suit definitely takes damage, it's just like, it seems like it takes a lot to damage it. Like that, for example. I feel like that was quite a lot, what I just did. You can see why they lose so many astronauts. I gotta say, I gotta say, the training program was not that good.
Oop, come up here. Is there? Is that? Oh, I see. That's like the planet's core. What a strange place. I'm glad I don't live here. This is different. Nerip, thanks very much for the prime. This is it, we've finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giant Steep for assembly. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Are you going to be a gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If I'm ever half as gooey as Mellow and Avon's behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital cannon. If I know my brother Evans and his spouse will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible, I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. I propose we give Avens and Mellow a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. A lot of dead people here. Well, dead... not people, I guess. What? What was that? Oh, are there gravity? Oh, there's a gravity field there, so you can just walk around. I see. Three minutes, 24 seconds ago, long range probe successfully launched from orbital probe cannon. I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive a limb here, Kasaba. I wish I were, my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Idea might may feel responsible. Okay. I guess that only works for a little bit. Anything over here? One of these? Uh, another projection stone. Wait, a brittle hollow projection stone? Well, that's actually sort of interesting. Oh! I wonder if you're standing on this. If it's okay. Probably not, right? Wait, that was actually completely fine. Okay. Hmm. Uh, this way. Brittle 
Brittle Hollow. This is on the south pole of Brittle Hollow. Cool. So that's a place for us to go. Kanoi, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Kanoi, you should have seen it! We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Kasava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for an interesting question. This is exciting. Spires? Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Kanoi, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trail hoods, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Alright. Very good. Who's with Uzi? You think so? 43 months? On Bomo Show to you too. This was a productive expedition. I've learned many things. Hey, Fenris. Game seems sweet so far. Okay, so we checked out that other place. Now, somewhere in here is the first island I was exploring. There? No, that's something else. And there is some risky way. Get to the statue workshop. Around the back or something. I'm in space, so... Oh, I still hit too hard? Damn. If I go into the water there, I think I'm okay. Where exactly is the spire located in the game? I don't know. We'll find out someday. I wondered what I was looking at when I woke up the first time. I have learned so much. At least this is an easy flight. I'm learning a lot about flying. Oh, I see. These are the buttons I have to press to center it. Gotcha. Feels like a deliberate first planet for you to go to. To me. Well, I guess you go to the moon first. 
But after that, this seems like a deliberate first place. There are a few things about it where it's like teaching me things specifically, and also it's pretty generous about not killing me. Well, <laughs> is it? All right, we go again. The riskier back way into the workshop. Skier back way into the workshop. These are for normalizing the gravity. You don't die, I think. Maybe. We'll test that hypothesis shortly, probably. The riskier back way into the workshop. Pull down. The workshop is over here. That wasn't it. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Is it over there? Let's try, um... Try this thing. Maybe this thing over here will let me see a way in. Yaro, would you kindly step back? 
So Daz is closest to the structure. Statue. When pairing, the statue will choose whoever is in closest proximity. See how its eyes have opened? That tells us the statue is paired with Daz. Now, no matter where he is in the star system, Daz's statue will record his memories and send him to the Ash Twin Project. This is extraordinary sculpting work, Phlox. He has outdone himself again, hasn't he? And now that we have our first successful pairing, we can test my memory storage prototype. Each statue will send a signal Nomai's memories to his or her storage unit with an Ash Twin. Each storage unit will be equipped with a mask, the statue's counterpart, which will be able to send those storm memories back to the corresponding Nomai. This seems like an important bit of lore I've just picked up. <laughs> Very good. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin Project flocks. They look beautiful, although I do feel as though I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Otherwise, I imagine the experience would be hard to endure. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, however, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. They will? Why is that? If anything goes wrong with the Ash Twin project, the statues and their masks will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the project. I hadn't thought of that. What a profoundly horrific fate that would be. The Ash Twin project. Hmm. Well, that doesn't strike me as great. <laughs> well, that's terrifying. One, two, three. I think three are lit up. Woo! How do I tell when it's safe? <laughs> I guess it's sort of a giveaway. Alright. I wonder what sleeping is like on this planet. <laughs> I guess you just sleep in a gravity normalized bed. Did I already, did I already read this? Okay. Probably not going to have enough time to do anything else. Actually, let's just read what I have so far. I have discovered so many fucking things. Alright. Uh, zoom. No, my statues are designed to pair with a single user, record their memories, and send those memories back to a storage unit within the Ash Twin Project. Each storage unit inside the Ash Twin Project was equipped with a mask. The statues are designed to only activate once the Ash Twin Project succeeded or in the event that it failed. Every memory recorded by a no my statue is transmitted to a corresponding storage unit within the Ash Twin. This island is where the Nomai built the Orbital Probe Cannon. For some reason, the Nomai put the Orbital Probe Cannon on indefinite hiatus. The cannon was asked not to fire. According to the Nomai commuter, a long-range probe was recently launched from the Orbital Probe Cannon. The Nomai on the construction yard saw something sink beneath the underwater current, which they previously thought was impossible. The Nomai at the Southern Observatory constructed a model of Giant's Deep that revealed and how an object might sink below a strong on the blah, blah, blah. The Nomai decided to build a larger, more sophisticated eye signal locator on the Brittle Hollow South Pole. There's two paths beneath Brittle Hollow's surface that lead to the observatory. Yep. I am learning so much. I'm 
not sure I can work out how to get out of here, though. <laughs> hmm. Oh, like that. Okay, that wasn't that hard, then. Another day, another game. I think this is the fourth game today. Or the third? Maybe the third. Oh, oh, I'm going too fast. <laughs> All right. Should I just fly into the sun, actually? What is that? Wait, what is that? We've made contact. I'm gonna count it. All right. Doesn't seem safe. Nailed it. Danger, ghost matter. Detected nearby. So don't go that way. Okay. This planet is uh pretty rad. Oops, was I meant to read what that said? <laughs> the Sunless City, okay. It's an ironic name. No, the store will need to remain closed for some time. Pi and I are running an experiment based on the extraordinary findings from the Whitehall Station. The high energy lab is now being used to design the Ash Twin Project. If you're here to help or even just to observe, be sure to use the Sunless Path to the lab. Rami and I will be running this experience and the experiment until one of us, specifically me, can prove the other wrong, so although it's inconvenient, the lab currently can only be accessed through the Sunless City. Inviting sand inside would disrupt our setup and could have enormous consequences. Realize this is an intriguing prospect, but the door must remain closed nonetheless. But there's ghost matter there. Ooh, can I read that? Suit puncture detected. <laughs> I just walked into cactus. Oh, I'm a smarty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Unfortunate about the ghost matter. Maybe 
This way. Crash site caves. How far is 60 meters? I'm sure that's not. The Blue Forest, thanks for the 13 months. Appreciate it. Hope you're well. Unidentified signal nearby. Whoops. Friends, if you uh, find any sign of Collius, I implore you to tell me he vanished without a trace during our research trip and has been missing ever since. Mallory, some of us from the Sunless City are here to help search for Collius. Can you tell us more about your expedition? You have my gratitude, Burr. Collius and I were studying the cave's geology. We hope to learn more about a unique and wand wandering rock that visits several different caves in the area. Where was the young Collius lost? We disappeared in the cave at the bottom of the dry lake bed at the North Pole. It happened in an instant and without warning. I turned away from Collius to examine a sample, and when I turned back, he simply wasn't there anymore! He had a limited supply of air, Anana, I'm afraid for him. Hypothesis. We will learn more by examining the Northern Lake Bed Cave, where Collius had disappeared. Search quickly, everyone. We have no time to squander. They all got teleported into space. Whoop! Oh, this is spooky. That's the entrance. Jump scare rock. <laughs> Wait, this is the entrance? Wait, I'm confused. That sounds real good. Yeah, if you would politely play the worst sound in the entire world for me, that would be great. We need status reports for all systems, but initial things first. Is everyone unharmed? Our escape pods passengers are afraid, but physically well, and Anna, everyone survived the crash. This is a relief, at least. You have my gratitude. Burr, were you able to find the other escape pods' distress signals? I can hear both signals somewhere in the star system, but I don't believe either escape pod crashed on the same planet as us. Unidentified signal nearby. Escape pod to distress beacon. Yep, okay. 60 second oxygen remaining. Wait, what? Oh dear. <laughs> Alright, well, probably time to die anyway. I 
if I can get back in 60 seconds, actually. Easy? Uh, huh. White Hole Station, High Energy Lab, The Sunless City, Quantum Caves, Lake Bed Cave. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. What are we observing over here? The high energy lab can only be accessed by a path from the Sunless City. The experiments of the high energy lab were based on extraordinary findings from the White Hole Station. The Nomi, Nomi noticed a strange wandering rock that appeared in multiple caves on Amber Twin's northern hemisphere. A Nomi named Collius mysteriously vanished from a cave at the bottom of the dry lake bared at Ember's northern pole. One of three Nomi escape pods that crashed in our solar system. There's more to explore here. Alright. Let's head back again. Hmm. Or not. Feels like there are many things to explore on this planet. Alright, okay, I already did this. So I want to go over there. Yeah, that's a long way away. <laughs> What is gravity here? I guess I need to do a strong boost first. I feel like I'm just burning time here, waiting for the time loop to restart, honestly. Oh, I navigate the planet based on the poles. I only just got that. England. Sure haven't found any of the other astronauts. like something important is going on here. It's 
what it sounds like. Huh. I think I've worked out what the important thing is. No, there's more to find out. Oh. Found the text. And goodbye. Why is the orbital probe cannon constantly highlighted for me? Zeddy, thanks for the 46 months. I blame my teammates, by the way. Okay, admittedly going too fast. <laughs> All right, I'm in the sun. <laughs> next, next loop will be better. <laughs> I think that's a PB. I'm pretty sure that's a PB. guarantee that there are people who speedrun this game by dying as quickly as possible. Oops. Accidentally autopiloted. That was a mistake. I didn't mean to press that button. Nobody saw that happen. Control. Hmm. Seems to be a landing pad. Okay. 
I know there's something here. Oh shit, there's a, that's what that is. Oh, well that's cool. Maybe it's that one of the poles. Wait, no, it wasn't on this. It was somewhere else. It was on that? Nope. What is this? What is this doing here? What is this doing here? Oh god. <laughs> You'd be impressed if the first time I left without my suit was because I put it back. Yeah. Man. You know, you pick up certain things over time. Get up there. Oh, like that. Okay. Hello. Signal identified. Chert. Hello. Goodness, it's you. Hello. I take it your first launch went well then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Mind the sand now. Hornfels asked me to update our star charts, so I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know? What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernovae today. Usually I'd be fortunate to see just one. Keep an eye on... Keep an eye or four on the stars, and maybe you'll spot one yourself. Tell me what. What can I do for you? I found something. Please do tell. Actually, never mind. Nothing you'd like to discuss at the moment. That's no trouble. If you do discover anything you'd like to talk about, I'd be happy to help. Why don't I want to talk to Higgins about that? I don't know if I've spotted a supernova. Supernovae look like extra bright stars in the naked eye, but if you zoom in with your signal scope, you can tell that they're actually enormous explosions. Massive stars go supernova at the very end of their lifespans, which is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I wonder if some of these stars are older than we realized. Uh-oh. <laughs> right now I'm documenting stars. Hornfels noticed our star charts are out of date, so they asked me to update them. Please don't tell the others I said this, but sometimes I think I'm the only traveler out here interested in doing any science at all. Maybe don't tell Hornfels either. I think they're pretty deep in denial. Or should I explore here? To be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. I don't mean to brag, but I'm really quite good with the little scout. So I've been taking pictures of everything from here in my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck site on Ember Twin's southern hemisphere? The one shooting a bright beam of light into the sky? It's not one of our own crashes, surprising left. This is once a Nomai ship. You'll find Nomai ruins across the Twins, but strangely not a single settlement. Believe me, if there was one to see, I'd have seen it with my little scouts. Where did they live? Not on the surface, clearly. Ember Twin is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies underground. 
How dangerous is the big column of falling sand? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it a 7 or 8. <laughs> um, did you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why. The sand flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. If you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin once a little more of its sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. Oh. Oh. This game is so cool. <laughs> this game is so cool. <laughs> Gosh, what a cool game. All right, anyway, talk to you. You want me to go in the caves? Go in the caves. What did I just realize? So the sand thing that I got trapped in was um, sand falling off one of the planets and going to the other. And because of that, um, was that all I had to do here? That might actually just be the only thing I had to do. There, that button. That was probably all I had to do. Uh, because of that, later on in the loop, there's less sand on the other planet, so I can get to, um, a crash site. But I can't do it at the beginning of the loop. It's an hourglass. It is an hourglass, isn't it? Ow. This would all be very useful if I could find where the other planet was. <laughs> Just a little bit of an oopsie boopsie there. This is where the ghost matter is. If I go to my ship, that should... Get me where I need to be, I think. Ow. <laughs> you put those there. Yeah. Galaga, thanks for the seven months. Long promo show to you too. Here, there is a writing. Here's our first delivery, Yarrow 1 Warp Core, fresh from the Black Hole Forge. Root is installing the core's sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. My gratitude, Clary. With this, the Ashwin project is underway. I confess, I'm deeply curious about what you and Poke found on the White Hole Station that started this project. Could I visit some time to learn more? I recommend you do. The White Hole Station is the model for the towers being built for the Ashwin project, so a visit to the station would be doubly useful. I suppose more precisely, I would like to visit the White Hole Station with you, Clary. Yarrow, stop using the scroll wall to flirt with my sister. In romantic matters, her density rivals the neutron stars, and go meet her on the White Hall Station. I'd be happy to explain our findings. 
I wish I could wait here for you to arrive, but the forge and my unfinished work there is calling. I'll return with more materials soon. Okay. Is that what I'm here to find? I think that's probably what I'm here to find. Wonder what's over this way. Uh-oh. Oh no. Wait, I don't remember seeing you before. How many of these are there? He's stupid. Some time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you and Idea progressing with the Sunshine plans? Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Pi, you know I don't find that funny. Hypothesis. Time spent away from the station would be beneficial to you both. I'm immensely interested in your testing hypothesis, Yaro. That, at least, we can agree on. Now curious, Rami thinks I'm a gas. I don't recall requesting that you monitor this conversation. I... Adaya... I don't see what state of matter you are has to do with this, and I don't recall supporting the Sun Station's construction, but here we are. Ow. Fucking cactus shit everywhere. This planet sucks. Oops. Oh, there's a ceiling. Okay, I see. so weird. Oh my gosh, it's so weird. So, I wonder if the thing that's causing the time loop happened here would sort of make sense, right? Oops. Yeah, my ship's up there. I guess we're time looping anyway. Wait, my ship isn't up there. My ship's down here. Wait, what? Wait, really? Huh, okay. As a British person, it's always crazy to see Jorb's stream at good times. Yeah, it'll happen. Oops. What did we learn? We learned... Whitehall Station. The towers on Ashtwin were modeled after Whitehall Station. Ashtwin Towers. Several large nomad towers form a ring around Ashtwin's equator. The Whitehall Station was used as a model for these towers, which were built for the Ashtwin process. The nomad built something called the Sun Station, but not everyone supported its construction. And then I crafted warp cores at the Black Hole Forge before delivering them to Ash Twin. Chert thinks the lack of surface ruins means the Nomai must have lived somewhere underground. There's a path leading to the high energy lab from the Sunless City. Chert has set up their astronomy gear on the North Pole of Ember Twin. So I can mark location of that on HUD. Ooh, I'm learning. Nice. 
nailed it. Oops. I didn't finish her story, I don't think. Or did I? Well, it was like you could finish it, but not be finished with it or something. I guess. Which is what I did. Okay, what more is there to do in here? Needs status reports. Our escape pods passengers are afraid, but physically well and on it. Everyone survived the crash. This is a relief at least. You have my gratitude, but were you able to find any other escape? Okay, didn't I already read that? I think I already read that. Maybe I need to exit and come in from a different direction then. Maybe there's a signal here? The cave shard is beneath us. I need to come here at the start when it's not submerged in sand so I can get into there. Oh, look at that. You can just see it sinking. It's crazy. Okay, so I need to come here at the start. <laughs> oh! I didn't make it to the sun, damn. How far away is the sun? I don't know. I can't get to it though. Did I do it? Did I get out of orbit? Did I get into the sun's orbit? Yes, yes, yes. No, no, not quite. Where's my ship? What else is there to do here? I don't know if there's anything to do here. Reverse Icarus. <laughs> Tried to fly too close to the sun. Failed. Alright, sun, where are you? And where is the sun station? I thought I saw something on it that one time. It's on one of the poles or something. Is that it? Maybe that's it. That was just a sun flare. All right, I have a plan. <laughs> How many Scoville do I think the sun is? That would be an interesting YouTube video. I'm not sure how you could stretch that into 10 minutes of content, though.
The autopilot flew my ship directly into the sun. <laughs> Chris Pratt is the sun. It's a me, the sun. Did I go into the sun again? Please don't go into the sun again. God damn it. <laughs> uh, you skip this part. No. Okay, so KDA. The sun has three kills, zero deaths so far. But if I can kill the sun a few times, we can bring that down. The ship can have a little sun as a treat. I live in Seattle, okay? I'm not really very familiar with that as a concept. All right, nice and safe. How do I pitch? Nope, not like that. How do I pitch? Is there like a button for it? Alright chat, welcome to the twins. I've uh, been your pilot, Joey Nerbs, and I hope this voyage treats you well. Weather on the Twins today is a roasty 275,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Escape pod 2, vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, waiting departure from vessel. Escape pod 3, now watching escape pod 2, collision imminent, preparing for impact. Scanning external environment, scan complete, external temperature prohibitively high. Verdict and hospitable, do not seek shelter on planet's surface. Heat from the star's system. From the star system, sun is more bearable below the surface. When our escape pod punctured this planet's surface, it broke into what scans show as a cave system with much cooler air. I would recommend seek a site down there and build a long-term shelter and on up, but the passages are a maze. Even with this danger, there is still our best chance for survival. We'll form teams and ascend into the caves to look for a shelter site. We can mark our findings on the walls to avoid becoming reverse or blubbly lost. Be aware of the sand as you search. It appears to be rising gradually. Did they all get suffocated by the sand down here? We found an enormous cavern at the end of this passage that appears promising. I believe we can construct a long-term shelter there. The cavern Mallory found is a wise choice for shelter. Could one of you mark directions for the others to follow? This is the start of the path to the shelter site. I've left directions to guide you there. Of note, we must hurry as the pathway there is filling with sand. Do not allow yourself to be buried by sand and make sure no one is lost.
Do not follow the, this tunnel to its end. Kalias and I will examine the horror that lies at its terminus later, provided we live through this. Woo! Keep moving, friends. There is nothing of interest at the end of this passage but rocks. And while these rocks are interesting, they can waste... Wait until a less urgent time. Emergency escape hatch. This passage leads to breathable air. Refill your supply tanks there. We cannot tell how far or deep these tunnels may wind. But do not linger as the area is exposed to the heat of this alien sun. Oh, I absolutely want to go that way, obviously. Uh, refill your air supply tank and return quickly. Return? Wait, so I'm not meant to be here? I'm so confused. To reach the shelter site, warp forward until you meet the sandfall at the pit, and then turn left. Continue to the room filled with the rock column formations and climb upward through the opening above them. Sand here is rising, so you must be cautious but swift. Walk forward until you reach the sandfall at the pit, then turn left. Continue to the room filled with rock column formations and climb upwards through the opening. Boomer move. <laughs> You're a boomer move. What's a boomer about taking notes with a smartphone? Be cautious crossing the chasm ahead. The bridge Mallory and I crafted will do its job, but it isn't strong. On the far side, look for the tunnel hidden behind the falling sand. Follow it, and you'll reach the shelter side. You're doing well. There's only a little farther left to go now until you reach the shelter site. You can rest there. Hurry before the sand comes. Um. Um. Did I do it? Seem to have done it. Oop! Oh, a lot of dead people in this game. Awful lot of dead people. Anglerfish Overlook District. Stepping Stone District. High Energy Lab Trailhead. My shrine district. Should we build the sun station to power the Ash Twin project? I almost can't comprehend this as being suggested seriously. The purpose of the sun station goes against every standard we hold ourselves to and everything we believe in as a species. If we fail, and the probability of this is not insignificant, we will without question destroy ourselves, all life here, and the rest of this star system. Whoops. 
The potential annihilation of an entire star system is too severe a cost. We shouldn't build the sun station no matter how badly we want the knowledge that comes with that. If you're a failure, there's a poor reason not to try. I believe if we're cautious, the sun station will work. I believe in Pi. Poke, I'm deeply honored. Idea, I comprehend your position. However, if we aren't all but certain the sun station will not cause destruction once we've built it, then I won't support the station's use. Unsurprisingly, Idea, I disagree with it being a bad idea. We're pushing a possible new technology further than ever before. That, in my experience, is the defining characteristic of our species. Are there other ways to generate this level of power? Theoretically, yes. Practically, no. I can't imagine discovering them in our lifetimes. I understand this proposal is unsettling, but the Sun Station must be built if we hope to complete the Ash Twin project. High Energy Lab Trailhead. Ow. Stepping Stone Cave. Nailed it. Seems important to close the door because it's all structured to stop sand from suffocating us. Are we playing the fossil fish game tonight? I fed the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to the stepping stone cave, the entrance to the fossil fish cave is easy to see now. Attitude saw them. It's good you're small enough to climb in through the hole of the anglerfish overlook. I'm still small enough. You won't be for long. Mom and dad are tall, and so will you be tall too. Stone District, Anglerfish Overlook District, High Energy Lab Trio. Maybe I have to go to the bottom instead of the top. I don't know. Seems to be filling with sand. Oh, there's a hole in the roof. Maybe I have to get here earlier. Ah! Oops. Let's not talk about it. Ahem. <laughs> Oh god, that's not what I was trying to do. I Shrine District. just like we're sitting here and died. I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to the solar system, but is that good? Dad told me lots of Nomai died when our client came here. What if the eye isn't something good? What if the eye wanted that to happen? Is 
It's the bad stuff, right? No? There's so much stuff. Holy moly. Danger, ghost matter. Yeah, that's what I said. It's the bad stuff. What is it stopping me from getting to? I wonder. I can't see, like, why I would care right now. <laughs> the, the map markers are in my photos. <laughs> to there. Oh. <laughs> All of my oxygen's gone. <laughs> Alright, well, here's one way to end it. Give me a sec, I need to run to the bathroom. Maybe that's why it's there, so I can end the cycle. <laughs> Perhaps that what it is. Go next, GG.
All right, team. All right, team. Oh, hey, look. Look at us. Just starting the game. What is this, first life? So I wanted to get back there faster. Oops. Oh, I'm using a controller. <laughs> I was like, something feels different. <laughs> too far again. Try not to hit the sun this time at least. <laughs> I think this time I'm okay. <laughs> All right. Someday I'm going to stop doing that. The mods are doing a great job, yeah. The problem is, when I get the alignment right, I start reading chat. <laughs> but I miss the fact that it's important to slow down before I crash and explode. Oops. Autopilot damaged? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Back to the cave. Wait, did I read this? I think I did. Uh, I actually have no idea how I got there last time, because I wasn't meant to go here. I just like sort of looked somewhere randomly and then found the thing with the directions. Just like went somewhere. Did I fall all the way down? I fell all the way down. And then I went up here, which led me to there. Maybe I should like look backwards and work out what the intended path is, because I don't think this is the intended path. Oh well. Don't believe in the law of conservation of motion. Absolutely not. Oops. Go faster, Jorbs hunk. Jorbs stare. Such a maze. It's up here. This is amazing. Look inside the cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. It's a rare find. From what we can see, Kali San believe the specimen to be very old indeed. Imagine what we might learn if we could examine it. We both agree it's unlikely this dry planet is this horror's place of origin. Clearly this hole is too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis, there is another entrance to this cave. If there is, Kali and I will find it. We can leave valuable information undiscovered. An update. We need to find a way inside quickly, Malarai, because when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. 
Okay. Very good. Fuck. No. Wait, actually, is this okay? I guess this is okay, because I want to go in here. Before it closes. I think. Doesn't seem important to do anything in there. Should I have closed the door? Oh my god, I jumped! That's frustrating. <laughs> Alright. Wait, what? Hello? Wait, what? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god, this is intense. I suffocated to death. <sighs> That's the death to the jump being when you release space instead of when you hit space. That's what that death was from. I've noticed that the ship up there isn't always pointing the same direction when I come back to life. Alright, watch this. Not going to fly into the sun. This is pretty exciting stuff. I feel like people should work out what they're good at, and... <sighs> and focus on that thing in their lives. So for example, I am good at flying spacecraft into the sun. I think it's important that I focus on that. Hey, Moondog! How are you this morning? I can throw... <clears throat> I can fly spacecraft into the sun with the best of them. Oh, nice and smooth. Horrible. Orbital mechanics are simple. It's not rocket science. Kappa indeed. Very cap. Is 
So, I fell into here. At the end of here, I go up here. I go left. I go up. I go over. Oh shit! Apparently, that can catch you. I just dub. <laughs> Here. Wait. You didn't know you were watching a speedrun. Oh, I've done this a couple of times. <laughs> Which is how you can tell that you're not watching a speedrun. Yeah. I go over here and don't get hit by the sand. I go through the sand, I make this Woo! jump, and we're here. Now, we go. Here. What does it say? The high energy lab. Ah, I am going the right way. Not get three right now. Maybe I can't get through until that fills. Sort of seems like it. All right. Well, a good moment for some food. Oh, I did it. Ah, uh, should I not go through there? Looks okay. I'm not working.
Oh my god. Aha. Uh -huh. What? Give me... The fuck? What is going on here? Oh, I'm holding the wrong fucking button. <laughs> I worked out my problem. Trees detected. Okay. Easy game. <laughs> What's all this then? Maybe I should read things before I do that. Shambata, thanks for the 29 months. I need a bit of food. Minecraft has taught me a lot about handling things like warp cores. I think I'll be fine. I have professional experience with handling reactors. Yeah, literally handling them. Literally handling. Perhaps here we will learn what is making all of the stars in the universe explode. Oh, yeah. Records show Nomai arriving at the warp reactor on Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the Whitehall station. Remy and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or a simple machine error. I don't understand what that means, but okay. Initial things first, our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole with a small white hole core to mimic the setup of the white hole station. Hypothesis, it is possible for an object to exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering a black hole 
and exiting the white hole at its destination. Oh, that sounds like a bad thing to try to do. Unclear to me why we're doing that. The Southern Observatory is asking of creating a 22 in minute interval as possible, that is to have something arrive 22 minutes before it actually is sent through the warp. We've learned the negative interval of time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis, creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Remy and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology to be able to handle such energy. The energy is currently available, you say. You're a gas pie. Oh, I get it. We would also likely need an enormous space to fit the, these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only location large enough would be Ash 20. The Ashton project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds crucial project materials. What if we used warp towers like the one we have on the Whitehall station to connect Ash Twin directly to each critical location? Of note, each tower of Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those who noted my imprecise language. Yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The giant's deep tower, for example, could resemble a cyclone, and we could model the timber hearth tower after a geyser mount. Okay. Did I do a bad thing? An update. Our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it visible to the unaided eyes. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should provide sufficient. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Remy and I are about to throw a new test. Hypothesis confirmed! Hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. Hypothesis confirmed. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. Of note, Remy, Yara requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. I'd hate to leave him I'm not reading that. <laughs> um. <clears throat> it said in the dark. Wait, it's me. It's me! Hmm. I don't know what that is.
Those are the towers. Have I read this? Poke root and I can begin work on this immediately in the black hole, hole forge. Oh, that was probably important to read. Note, this door will need to remain closed for some time. Pioneer running an experiment based on some extraordinary... Oh, we're out here. So I powered something. I think. Unless I didn't. That's on... those are in... I opened that for some reason. That is working. Can I see where the other side of that thing is? Power that? Oh shit, I power that. To there. Don't leave me alone. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, I missed. Oh, no, I missed. <laughs> the black dot ones, I think. I have no fuel. I think next loop I'm gonna have to do this. I don't think I can get back to my ship. Oh! Apparently that hurt harder than I thought it would.
I have to check in on what the ship says right now, too. Because I think those are teleporters. Well, that's what they say they are. So I'm guessing I turned them on. But I have to work out what to use them for. The Sunless City! Yep. Anglerfish fossil. There is a way to enter Fossil Fish Cave from Stepping Stone Cave. The entrance from Stepping Stone Cave is hard to see unless the anglerfish is fed a light first. The Nomai debated building a sun station in order to power the Ashton project. Yep. Black Hole Forge. Do do do. Do do do. do. Okay. So good at flying now. Gosh. Just effortless every time. Not even gonna fly past it into the sun. Look at me reducing speed miles ahead of when I needed to. Ah! <laughs> Oops. Too good. Accidentally landed. All right, here we go. This is the this is the run. We left him all these clues, and he just keeps driving into the sun. <laughs> Oops. 
So if I go to some city bullshit, I get to do something else. I get to see the anglerfish? Hmm. You sure do you go through the same path over and over again because of the way the game is structured? I guess I'm okay with that? I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm okay with that or not. Woo! Embrace the time loop by simply repeating your actions over and over again. Yeah, exactly. I have to feed some bullshit a light or something. Oh, I missed again. Okay, that's fine. We'll just go this way. I've seen Edge of Tomorrow. I thought it was like okay. I've seen worse movies. It wasn't very good. But it was okay. No way around that, maybe. So that's a no. All right, how you all doing? I don't know what I'm meant to do during this part other than watch the sand fall. Super enjoying the playthrough. Good, I'm glad. I am too. I'm glad I got it capturing okay. There's still a little bit of a stutter, but it's definitely not as bad as it was at first. Why was the stutter bad at first? I don't know. I don't know what's causing it at all. I just changed the way OBS was capturing and some of it went away, but not all of it. I don't know why. It's a mystery. Realistic sand physics. Cool. Probably didn't need that oxygen anyway. Uh... This way. This way. And up here. And now this part got confusing. Um because this was here, but it didn't work. It's going the wrong direction. So I had to go this way. From here, I had to jump up there. There you go. From here, let's give this some warp cores. 
Let's take one of these. Turn that on. Guess I don't know if this is doing anything. Didn't work that out. I do not want you to tell me things about the game, Mr. Indie Person. <laughs> Shouldn't be complicated. thing yet. Yeah. Oops. This is going great. I think my problem is that I have to uh <laughs> orient like that. Okay. Another smooth landing. Chat, I didn't know that this was a black hole. And you're talking about how it's a black hole in my chat. And because I'm like capable of basic deductive reasoning based on the things that you say, you have made the conclusion for me that it's a black hole that I didn't, hadn't made yet. I don't know why you did that. Why do you want to watch you work out the game that you already know the answers to? Haven't you already worked them out? <laughs> Wasn't it mentioned in the game? Yes! The clues to solve all of the puzzles are mentioned in the fucking game. <laughs> And then, when you play the game, you slowly put them together and work out what's going on. You're fine, whatever. Boo 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 Am I more mad or just disappointed? Oh, definitely mad. Super mad jorbs. Well known for being incredibly mad all the time. I could become a rage streamer. I could be a rage streamer who streams puzzle games and just rages at people who backseat. I seem to be here too early, huh? Alright, well, this is fucking dumb. I'm just gonna go over here and put a black hole and a white hole in the thing together. Because... Now that you have pointed out that that is a thing. I am curious to see if it works. The fuck is that? Wait, what? Trash. 
drop warp corn. Oh. It's just tracking the orbits of the planets, I think. Wait, I'm actually so confused by that. Church's research notes. The Nomai were making astronomical device observations here. They chose an excellent spot. What is this big rotating device for? What was it the Nomai were observing? I posit there's something special about the orange symbol on that device. How on the new astronaut's translator tool would be nice to have handy right now. Need somewhere I can put a scroll. Uh hmm. Zephyr, is it necessary for you to be at the door of my office yelling at me right now? Somewhere around here, there is a door, which is open. To the lab. I'm not sure where. Clearly it isn't there. If I orbit this way, up here, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> It's by this, if I remember right. Well, clearly it isn't. Good, good jump. Zephyr. Hi. Well, we do it one more time, I guess. Zephyr likes to yowl at me before and after food time. I don't know why he does that. He's saying please and thank you. I don't think that's what he's saying. <laughs> if that is what he's saying, gosh. Imagine if like cats are just trying to politely communicate with you when they yell at you, but like through some horrible happenstance of evolution, the way in which cats politely communicate is just the most annoying sound that anyone has ever heard in the entire world. <laughs> 
<laughs> just, just really unlucky. <laughs> Why did I fly into the sun? So I'm on a pair of planets. Well, okay. First thing to understand is that I'm in a time loop. Maybe 22 minutes long or something. And in this time loop, I am exploring this pair of planets. And over time, these planets have sand transfer from one to the other and then back due to gravitational pull or something, I don't know. So there are things that I have to explore on one, which I can only explore during one part of the time loop because the sand covers everything otherwise. Oh, I have a ping that I meant to go to. That one. Gosh, who needs Reddit when Twitch chat can just tell you the things that you would read on Reddit at any moment without you even having to go to Reddit? have obsoleted the rest of the internet. <laughs> My favorite Reddit thing is um, that it's, it was, who was it? Ah, who was it? I don't remember. Casually explained, casually explained did a Reddit thread where he just, um, he made a video about Reddit threads, and then he posted a thread introducing it and had every type of response that is standard in a Reddit thread already written out, and he posted all of them on his own. And my favorite insight of his was that it's basically impossible to search Reddit for things that you saw and like, but you don't have to worry about that because they'll just be on the front page. <laughs> um, and I feel that because they're not just on the front page, they're also in my Twitch chat um, whenever they're relevant. Stone District, Anglerfish District. I go to the Stepping Stone District and then put light in the Anglerfish District. There's meant to be something over here. Maybe I shouldn't be letting myself get distracted, I don't know. Reading in the fossil fish cave to play the game. If you're too big to climb through the anglerfish overlook hole, you'll have to go through the long way, but it isn't far. Go to Stepping Stone Cave, then up and into the fossil fish cave. I tried to get the fossil fish cave through the Stepping Stone Cave, but I couldn't find the entrance. Where is it? Remember to feed the fossil fish first. If you go to the anglerfish overlook and throw a light into his mouth, he'll show you the way. Tiger can't fit through the anglerfish overlook. I go on taller. Who cares? If you go to the anglerfish overlook and throw a light into his mouth. Anglerfish overlook. What is that? So 
up there. Go here. Ow! No. <laughs> nope. Okay, we're here. We go here and throw a light into the anglerfish's mouth. If we go to the overlook, presumably the overlook is here. Is that the anglerfish? Oh, this is totally the anglerfish. Fossil overlock, 40 meters. Hello, you want to sleep? Yeah. Good night. Good night. Okay, we've already looked at this. Oh, I launched the scout, and that's the light. And then that will show me the way. Did I launch it into its mouth? I meant to launch it into its mouth. Now, I go to the Stepping Stone District. Which I guess means there? Damn it. Worked out where I need to go. All right, I'm here. There was text to read. Wonder whoever it was when we ended last time is the angler. Whoever was it when we ended last time is the anglerfish. Rule change: the anglerfish now has to wear a blindfold. The rest of us, the little fish, line up against one wall. When the anglerfish says go, the little fish sneak across the other side. The anglerfish catches you. You're eaten. Last little fish to be caught is a new anglerfish. The old anglerfish gives the new anglerfish the blind fish. So yeah, okay. Why are we changing it? It's too hard. If you can't see anything, that pie says the rail. Anglerfish are blind, so you have to wear a blindfold. The rule stands. Rule update. It's okay if younger kids don't wear a blindfold. Ship log update. Is that, is that it? That's what I what I had to do all this work for. Oh, I want to do that. Yeah. Anglerfish study. An update. Is my oxygen running out as I read this? Looks like no. <laughs> Malari. When I was here making the sketches of the anglerfish, I observed the children I saw earlier playing here again. The veteran rule through the game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. I'm entirely delighted. It's never too early to appreciate biology. The long growth protruding from its head is bioluminescent. Perhaps it uses this growth to attract play, prey allure. This anglerfish's digestive tract suggests death by starvation. Visually, the specimen appears to be of the same species as the anglerfish in Dark Bramble. We don't believe it originated from this plant. I've been eaten by one of those. I'm a 
about to run out of oxygen. Which is actually completely fine, I think. Yeah, I think that's actually completely fine. Morning coffee! Thanks very much for the gifted sub. Appreciate it. Gosh, you suffocate to death really fast once you run out of oxygen. Thank you, morning coffee. The stealth no, thanks for the prime. So we know that angler fishes are blind? I think is what I've learned. Running out of oxygen sounds like a horrible way to go. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Worst things have happened to people. Anglerfish fossil. Yeah. Yeah. There's more to explore in the Sunless City. Oh, yeah. Hopefully this will be our last trip to the Sunless City. There's a decent chance. Imagine the trauma of remembering dying over and over again. What if it's not that bad? <laughs> I don't know. Might be bad. Might just sort of be like fine. I'm getting so good at that. Didn't even fly into the sun that time. Wait, landed on a rock? Whoops. Okay. Try again. You're a good driver too. Didn't crash your car the last time that you went home from work. Nice. All done. This reminds me of playing Morrowind for some reason. A lot of space travel in Morrowind. Oh, Kristalvani. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be it. Also just like open world exploration. Trick to a painless sun death is to fly into it really fast. I'm sure that is true. This is the canonical way of getting to the city. I don't know what the other way is. <laughs> I never worked it out. So.
Morrowind just got remastered. Do I recommend? A very good game. Do you think? Nope. I just... I don't know. It's so frustrating. Why would you make it so that the player had to just sit here for this long? The spiky things puncture my suit and make me lose oxygen. Is there an invisible wall? I don't know. The sand falling does push you down. Is there a way to stop the sand? Clearly I haven't managed to stop it yet. Have I tried getting good? Nah, not my thing. I prefer being a sexy trash can. That's my general goal when I play a game. much oxygen left. All right, anyway, I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, this way? And then this way? And then up? And we're good. This way. Can't go up there. Don't know what that is yet. Yeah, still not sure. Maybe I should come back and check that at some point. This way. We take a black and link it to a white. And then we observe in here. That's what this is. Oh shit! Oh yeah, that's pretty fucking cool. Um, I don't... did it do anything? Very cool.
You destroyed the fabric of space-time. Cobbles, Stroma, I think it's for two months. Solid back sitting. The second. Alright. I had to turn all things to 20 months. Okay. At least I didn't lose all my progress. Did I do it? Did I find the things? There's more to explore here. <sighs> Alright, I'll come back to it, that's fine. Let's go do something else for a bit. God, there's that still too? Oh. Let's go to the Brittle Hollow South Pole. sites. Is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. Have we heard from escape pod 2 or 3? No. I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pods' distress signals, however. If it's any comfort, both pods may be structurally intact. I'll continue calling for them. My gratitude. If we can... Thatch! The moon is approaching again. Everyone, brace yourselves swiftly. The volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. Planet does a doesn't appear eager. 
We'd have guests. We are certainly unwelcome on its surface. We need to find shelter, and quickly, the volcanic moon won't be gone for long. I observed several promising sites below the surface, but we'll need to construct a way for everyone to climb safely down this cliff. Perhaps we could build platforms. What's all this then? That's my ship. That's my own ship. That's what this is. All right. Um. <laughs> Oh! Ouch. Vessel has been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated, awaiting departure from vessel. Escape pod 3, launching, launching, collision. Verdict hospitable. I mean, I can take my suit off. Holy shit! No 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 Oh god damn it. Wait, what is this? Right. Deliberate. Um. <laughs> Man, trees are real OP in this universe. Welcome to the Whitehall Station. If you fell through the black hole by accident, this warp tower can return you to Brittle Hollow. Every warp tower is tuned to a specific astral body. A tower's warp can only be used during the brief window when the tower is aligned with its corresponding astral body. If you look out while the station is rotating, you can see the alignment happens when the astral body is directly overhead. You must be standing on the warp platform on the floor during this alignment. Oh god. The interloper. So I'm waiting patiently for Brittle Hollow to make that entire circuit of the sun. Woof. It seems like I want to bring this back with me. Because I don't currently see. Anywhere to use it. I have a ton of extra time. Maybe there's something else I can explore here. Surely they were doing something here. Oh, what if I get it actually on this? It's on the other side of the sun. That shouldn't work. I 
You don't think trees would like us very much? Certainly didn't like everyone in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I don't think going out there is going to help. We need like a fast forward time button for this game. Because there are moments in the game where you need to do something at a specific moment. I'm just gonna straight ban people from the channel. <laughs> if you make a comment that causes me to like play the game differently, I think I'm just going to ban you from the channel. Like the amount of patience I have is absolute zero. What did I do? Turn the lights on? Ooh. What the f what? Whoa. Okay, what shall I do over here? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm here again. <laughs> uh, I'm learning. I'm learning. There's something on the South Pole. Departure time, arrival time, return warp status charged, step on to the warp receiver, platform to activate warp. The hanging suit. To our friends on Brittle Hollow, I just warp here from the Whitehall Station on this other little uh, design work to successfully recreate a warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Anana's original design, but as long as what we've built works, then I'm delighted. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate, they would violate causality. There must be an equipment error somewhere. I'm returning to the Whitehall Station. If you and Root meet me there, 
We can run a full diagnostic and hopefully locate the problem. Don't tell. Bring me who's on. This is wonderful news. I can't wait to see the warp tower, although it's been a long time since I've jumped through a black hole. Same. We're all getting older. I've already gone there. I already know about that one. So something on the south pole. There's also a thing beneath me, but I couldn't work out how to get to it. Don't go there. Absolutely do not go there. It's fine. <laughs> Extrapolation. All part of the plan. Ow. I'm fine. Oh my. Ooh. Still fine. <laughs> Still fine. Go to the South Pole. Wait, when I'm not on the planet, I can't see where the South Pole is. Weird. Oh, I guess it's here. <laughs> I'm here, I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, in that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts, Feldspar, would have barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news, I uh, haven't found a way inside this structure yet. The door is broken and I know I'm not good at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there were one. Probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator, try to find a way down. That is just not going to work out great for you. You are going to end up in a black hole. You're going to head north. <sighs> I hate you. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a useful direction. Well then. Jay Crony, thanks for the seven months. Long Bomo show to you too. 
I'm at the equator. Supposedly there are things here. Ruins on the equator. I mean, there's obviously the thing underground, but maybe there's a way to get down more clearly. That? Yeah, that could be it. That could definitely be it. Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon. Not anymore. The Southern Observatory South. No way. Don't you dare end the time loop on me right now. Don't you dare. I am here after watching and wonder the skies for so long I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that it is always true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. Wonder what I just did. said it couldn't be done. Oh, what does this say? Good grief. This universe is huge. Escape pod one. Yep, shelter site. Then my survivors who crashed on Brittle Hollow climbed down the cliff to a shelter site below the surface. Let me go check that out. There's a quantum moon. There's a gravity cannon. There are quantum caves and there's more to explore there. Okay. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. <laughs> All right. Just a little catching up to do. No big deal. I have not yet died from forgetting to put the spacesuit on.
there's still time. Alright. So there's the North Pole. Ow. Master Alarm. Well, that hasn't gone off yet. I should probably... Here, there's a thing. Can do. I can go here. I can go uh, shelter site. Find in map mode. Oh, I can go escape pod. Find in map mode. Mark location. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm glad I did that. I was not particularly close. Nope. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> there's still time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd already gotten out of the ship, but I hadn't because I landed and then. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Jorb's Deaths compilation. I'll put this on now, just in case. I wonder if they will let me actually fly a spacecraft after I beat this game? Probably, right? I mean, why wouldn't they? Yeah, why wouldn't they? I mean, how can you not... How can you not want someone who can pull that off? Flying your spaceships for you. Okay, so someone else can land. That's fine. I'll do the stuff up until we land. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Let's be real. You're going to need a Twitch streamer on your expedition. Use caution, a black hole sleeps below. You must not slip. I wonder who slipped first. Of note, be sure not to wander far from here. Though the area is somewhat unstable, it's safer than anything we've found so far. The temporary settlement is finished, but remember to be cautious of falling rocks and dust created by meteor impacts. This is the temporary settlement? Ooh, what is that? Let's see what this is first. Given concerns about our settlement stability, where should we construct a new, less temporary shelter? We need to stay close to the escape pods so Felix can monitor incoming messages. We can't be rescued if we aren't present to respond. Don't believe anyone is coming to save us, Thatch. Now we must save ourselves. I agree. We're here because the signal called to us and we followed. If we're to find it, 
You need to not merely survive, but thrive. This is a wise point, Bloom, eloquently made. If moving to the northern glacier will keep us safer, then that is what we should do. I believe we should migrate to the northern glacier. What if we use gravity crystals to craft a stable path? Building beneath the crust, again, would shelter us from the volcanic moon's eruptions. Ah, okay. So that's our stable path to the next place. But before that, I want to go see what that thing over there was. Yeah, that one. This knowledge is too dear to lose. Here is everything we can recall about the signal we encounter while aboard the vessel. The signal is older than the universe itself! This is the most significant detail. No no my clan has ever encountered anything like it. How can anything in this universe be older than the universe itself? Imagine what rare and profound knowledge it might offer. We must find this eye of the universe. The signal looked like an eye, round with a circle at the center, much like a people. Oops. Maybe I should explore all this stuff too. Is the hardest part of this tragedy not knowing who we may have lost? Or will the hardest part come later? When will we learn? Be well, aren't that? Malarai. Ooh, relatives. Exciting. is this. I can't understand. Why did the vessel crash in that place? We warped to follow that curious signal from the eye of the universe when we were, where we arrived was wrong. It wasn't where we tried to go. I suppose it wasn't a problem with the vessel, but with our destination. I'm afraid for our friends in escape pod three. Oh my god. Was the vessel unwell in some way? No. Anon and I checked before the warp and the warp core and navigation systems were both well. Here we go. God, the explosions. Oh God, there's a black hole. <laughs> Three minutes of oxygen remaining. <laughs> All right, a variety of excitement. was not it. Okay. Where's the thing?
Wait, I think I could actually probably make it to that. Interesting. All right, I wonder what this does. Can I stand on it? I'm not standing right now. Hmm. Hello just where I wanted to go. This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone had called it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remained in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. That would be wise, I think, Clary. You don't mind waiting here with it. Poke and I can continue investigating the surface. Hmm. This would be a great time to get inside that shuttle. There. That was the command. Thing. All right, well, I'm going to suffocate to death now. That's too bad. We found a thing, though. It's a comet. It's my comment. <laughs> uh, chat, it's 5 a.m. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm a very tired me now. I guess we'll have to finish this tomorrow. I guess that'll be the plan. Hope you have enjoyed seeing me Play it for the first five and a half hours or so. But yeah, I'm exhausted, so I'm gonna go.